I'm trying to angle myself on this camera so it doesn't look like I'm not wearing a shirt this entire video. That'd be, that'd be swell, but I really like this shirt, so I'm gonna make it work. Plus we're rocking a little bit of shoulder bling. Look at that, oh, I love a good shoulder highlight. I can't get enough of it. I just wanna walk around like this all the time. Just like, look at my shoulder highlight, everyone. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm here at the end of April, which means soon it's gonna be May. It's probably my favorite meme. Probably my favorite meme of all time and I will never get tired of it. But as the title would suggest, I tested out a ton of products this past month. Like, past month. I can't talk today. But I feel like it was constantly testing out new things, there was lots of new launches, and so I really wanted to sit down, pare down that entire list of everything that I tested, and pick out the absolute best of the best, and the worst of everything that I tried. I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to click on the little notification bell so you don't miss out when new videos go live. And without further ado, let's dive right into this. So first, let's start off on a bad note, shall we? And I'll talk about the products that I didn't so much enjoy, products that just did not work for me, and uh, yeah, then, we'll, then we'll, we'll end on the positive. So first, starting with this eyeshadow palette, this is from Sweet and Shimmer. It's their eyeshadow palette that they launched recently at Ulta. I bought it because it was like $4 or something, and I was like, maybe Maybe this is a hidden gem. Who knows? But this is one of those classic cases of um, you get what you paid for. I was kind of hopeful at first because it did swatch quite well. They were very creamy in texture and I was like, oh, this is exciting. But as soon as you put it on your eyes, it is very dusty, patchy. It does not blend out well. And then as soon as you start blending, it just like erases everything that you just put on. That and it also smells disgusting. So overall, this was a bust. Now onto this highlight from Hard Candy. This is their um, Prismatic Highlighter Iridescent Pearl Powder. And this is supposed to just give a beautiful iridescent glow to the skin. But I found this to be very, very chalky and dry and it just didn't show up really well on the skin. Like. I was I was hoping for something a little bit more like pinky purple, a nice little pop on the skin, and I do love a colored highlight, don't get me wrong, but this just didn't play out the way I was expecting it to. There was a ton of glitter in this, and like dark colored glitter, you know, like the, it was more of a colored glitter versus an iridescent one, so it was very obvious on the skin, and it was also just very chalky and dry in texture, um, so when you put it on the skin, you'd see the dark pink glitter, and then this like chalky residue, so it just, it did not work for me, didn't love it, don't think it's worth it. Another highlight I didn't love is by Laura Geller. This is their Dew Dreamer Illuminating Drops. This is in Diamond Dust. First of all, the swatches that are online are awful. Like I could not tell like what the undertone was gonna be for any of them. So I was like, I don't know, I'll pick the lightest one. And this had a bit of a pinky undertone, which I feel like would be really disappointing to a lot of people who were maybe expecting something to be more champagne or more of just a neutral base. And so I think that would be really helpful. But other than that, like outside of that, um, how they had promoted this was as this like strobing dewiness that you can add to your skin to look really like blinding and beautiful and over the top. Up. And when I applied it, first of all, it was like super oily, like grease city on my skin. And it was just very subtle, which is fine. Like not everything has to be over the top with highlight. I mean, for other people, it needs to be for me. But don't market it as this like blinding highlight when it's supposed to be subtle, you know? So I don't like that. And I just couldn't get the product to like shake up. Like you can see it, it's, it's separated here. So there's like, here's the oil and here's the pigment and you have to shake it a lot. And even when I like shook it a second time, I just wasn't getting it, it's still super oily. Uh, yeah, no, wasn't impressed with this. Next is a primer. And it wasn't so much that this was really good or really bad. It's just that it didn't do anything. Like. It, nothing. And this is by Flower Beauty. It is the In Your Prime Pore Minimizing Primer. And I did a whole buy or buy on the Flower Beauty collection, like everything that they have. I bought a ton of stuff from Ulta. I had been testing it out. And so I did a full video showing you guys what my favorite products were and what like didn't work so well for me. But this primer just didn't do anything. And I feel like that's just as bad as being a terrible product. If you, if you market yourself as a pore minimizing product and you don't do anything, then you're just as bad as like a product that like emphasized the pores. And on top of that, it didn't mattify, it didn't enhance the longevity of my makeup, just this was a bust. And then lastly from the products that like didn't work for me is a product from Guerlain. I did a whole video on it, it's a lip transformer and it is a blue product that you're supposed to put on top of your lip product that is going to change it up depending on how much you put on and then you can create this like customizable lip wardrobe, if you will, based on this one product. And so I tried that and it didn't work. And so much that like, I don't even know where the blue product went. I do have the pink one. The pink one is very pretty, like long lasting, beautiful color, gives us a nice velvety matte kind of look to the lips and you can create like a nice stain or like bright color, like really pretty. Blue though, 
Blue was terrible. I tried it on top of the Guerlain lipsticks that are part of the collection. I tried it on top of products that I already had in my collection. Like, I tried to switch it up. It was just a big mess. I did not like this product. No thank you. Now getting into the products I absolutely loved this month. These products were amazing. I had such great success with them and they're products I continue to reach for over and over again. Starting with, oh, I don't even know where to start. They're all so good. Actually, you know what? Let's start with a product that probably surprised me the most as I was adding it to this pile because I don't think I've ever done this with this particular category of product. And that is a lid primer. Yes, you heard me right, a lid primer. I was that impressed with it. It is by CoverGirl. It is their lid lockup lid primer. And initially I just swatched it and I was playing around with their new eyeshadows and stuff like that. And I can't even tell you what a massive difference it does putting this product on before your eyeshadows. This product just really surprised me. I was like, oh, Oh, okay. I mean, let's call it what it is. Lip primers aren't that exciting of a category. You, you put it on and then your eyeshadow stays put better. Like that's it. But this one actually did such a good job that I actually noticed a difference in how my eyeshadow looked, how it wore, how impactful the colors were. And it wasn't just for the um, CoverGirl eyeshadows, it was for other eyeshadows too, to the point where I just kept reaching for it. And so I did want to make mention of it. I think this is fantastic. Now going on to the highlight that I'm currently wearing, super hyped up, over the top and 100% worth the hype, in my opinion. And that is the collaboration between ABH and Amrezy. It's their beautiful, beautiful highlight. It looks like this, and it just gives this beautiful, wet looking dewiness to the skin that really can be super dramatic or much more soft and subtle. I am wearing it on my skin today, and it just like everything, like look at that. Like look at that shoulder. Oh, can't get enough. Next up, let's go on to lip color. I'm wearing it on my lips today, actually, and I've been wearing them a lot because they are just, they're really, really pretty. And they're by Urban Decay, and it is their Hi-Fi Shine Lip Glosses. I received the entire collection as part of like a press sample kit, and I've been testing them, playing with them, and they're just, they're just really pretty. And I love that they played with a lot of different finishes within the collection. Some are more pigmented, some have a nice sheen, some are more duochrome, and you can layer them on top of lipsticks. Like they're just, there's so much to choose from. From, and they added some really pretty touches. Like this is a beautiful neutral nude shade. It, sh it just is, it's just classic. But then they added this like micro fine gold shimmer that adds this extra gleam and like glossiness to the lips and makes them look fuller. Like I cannot get enough of this color. By the way, it is the shade Midnight Cowgirl. Obsessed. The two that I'm wearing on my lips right now are a combination of these two. So I have Savage as well as Snitch. Just really pretty colors. I wasn't sure what I wanted to play with. I loved the Barbie pinkness of this, but I wanted to kind of dial in a little bit of warmth. So I combined them together. It was really pretty. These are more on the pigmented side. They're not like super ultra pigmented with one swipe, but they're definitely like a very pigmented gloss and it's really pretty. Um, and then there were some other ones that just kind of stood out to me. I, I have them down here. Hold on. Gold mine. I wasn't expecting to like as much as I did, but putting like a drop of this in the center and kind of smearing it around just adds this pretty like summery sheen to the lips that is just like not something that I've seen before. So I really liked that. I also love this red. This is in Bang, which is just a very bright, like juicy red apple kind of a red lip, you know? Like this is how I would do a summer red. Really love this. And then they have these like really fun duochrome sparkly ones that are just like a nice frosty layer to the lip cross. Very like 90 vibes, but I've been really enjoying them. They also have a little bit of like a nice mintiness to them, which feels really refreshing on the lips. I just, I'm obsessed with the whole line. I think they're awesome. Now on to another highlight that I have been in love with. This one is by ColourPop, it is their Luster Dust, and this one is in Strobe Globe, which is probably my favorite out of all of the ones that I've tried. And it's glitter, which like, this is a first for me. This is the first glitter highlight that I actually really like. A little bit goes a long way with this product, and the only way that I'll wear it is I will spritz a little bit of like Fix Plus or something onto my brush, and then dip it into the powder and like dust it onto my skin. That is the only way to make it not look glittery and more just like really over the top, wet shine kind of thing. But this stuff looks killer in photos. I apply it like all over the body for these like off the shoulder kind of shirts and stuff. Like it is so pretty. Like I need to put some on on my shoulders right now to like show you what I'm talking about. Like I know I already have some highlight there, but like let's try and put it like up here more, you know? You see that? See how over the top that is? Oh my gosh, I wanna like just swim in this. Well, now I have to balance it out on the other shoulder here. But seriously, if you love an over the top highlight, I think you're gonna love these. And I think they're only like seven bucks, which is awesome. You get so much product for this. 
Love it. For eyeshadow, there are two palettes. They're just, they're tied for me. I cannot narrow them down. They're both really good. The first one is from Flower Beauty. This is their Shimmer and Shade palette. This is the Golden Naturals one. And I remember when I bought this and I opened it up, I was like, meh, it's another like golden-y kind of a palette. Like I can't imagine I'm gonna use it that much. No, I was wrong. I'm wearing them on my eyes today. I've been wearing a combination of these two shades right here, popping this into the inner corners, maybe throwing on a little bit of matte in the crease and like darkening up along the lash line with this, but like, this has been a staple of mine. Just, I was really surprised. I didn't think that I would love it as much as I do. Really good quality, great pigmentation. They blend out beautifully on the eyes. I love this palette. And then the other palette I've been really enjoying, which I talked a little bit about with the lid primer, is the CoverGirl Katie Cat palette. This one is in Hot Cat. First of all, the packaging is adorable. Little cats in the center, are you kidding me? But the quality of these are so buttery smooth and like pigmented. Like this shade right here, it is so pigmented and over the top and just like, I like look at that. Like that's amazing. The mattes on here are really nice too. Actually, I've been using more like this half of the palette, but this half is also really nice. Like you can kind of make a look from each side or mix them together if you want. Um, but this is the one I've been reaching for more. The other one is a little bit more on the colorful side. Again, also really, really pretty, more shimmery. This is something that I would add to an existing palette if you love to play with colors and you want to experiment a little. I've been using a lot of this light minty shade, which I feel like looks best once you put uh, the primer down first. The primer with it just makes all the difference. Here, I'll swatch it for you guys. Like you can see that there, really over the top, looks super pretty and frosty on the eyes. I've been loving the quality of them. I think they are great. Really, really impressed. Now onto a product that I wasn't sure if I was going to include or not because I kind of tested it towards like the end of the month because it literally went into Thursday's video. But I've been so impressed. I've used this like four or five times since and I'm actually going out and I am buying a second shade that is a little bit darker, but it is the Derma Blend Flawless Creator Multi-Use Liquid Pigments, it's, which is a liquid foundation, but it's one of those dropper ones. You can check out Thursday's video if you want to see what it looks like on my skin. It is, it is very full coverage. This is the shade 10N, which is perfect when I don't have any self tan on so I've been wearing it the last couple of days and I keep reaching for it because it looks so good on my skin sometimes when I don't have any self tanner on I look a little bit dead but this for whatever reason just makes my skin look like very creamy and smooth it doesn't add any heaviness even though it has tons and tons of coverage it's very similar to the cover effects custom cover drops except that this one is different in that it could be used alone or you can mix it in with a moisturizer or a liquid highlight or something like that it doesn't settle into like my enlarged pores just kind of like in this general area. It just, it lasts a really significant period of time throughout the day. And I just, I've been in love with it. And I know it was like the end of the month, but I feel like because I keep reaching for it, I needed to mention it because it's so good. I'm going out and I'm buying probably like 25 N next because like I need, I need more shades. Have you guys been testing out anything new? Have you enjoyed any makeup? Let me know in the comments. I want to know what you've been enjoying or something that you're excited to go out and try something that's new or something that you just hated. I just, I need to know. Don't forget to check out yesterday's video on my Rachel's Life channel. I tested out some new tasty recipes, the two ingredient ones, because I, I'm be honest, I see them on Facebook and I'm like, really, really isn't that good tasty. And then on Thursday's video, I tested out the luxury Amazon makeup just to see what that whole category was about. Did a full day wear test on everything, found some really cool gems as well as some products that were like, uh, no thank you. So I hope you guys enjoyed them. Leave a comment on those videos. If you came from this video, I will be checking all of your comments on my phone. And that is everything. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing weekend and I will see you guys all on Thursday. Love you girls. Mwah.